Hello and welcome back to Art by the Lake. Today we've got some interesting things going on. Uh, we're painting with beer today. Um, and as you can see, we've got 11 colors out here and a 12 ounce can of one of my favorite beers. And since it is happy hour here on the East Coast, um, I thought we would paint with beer today. Our beer today is Bell's Two Hearted Ale. If you like combining things that you love, um, this is about as good as it can get. So let's get the beer going. And we'll get the painting going. So uh, today we have an 11 color drag pour we're going to do. You can see the 11 colors out here. Um, starting in this area, we have an Americana Deco Art Neon Sizzling Pink. Um, we have a bunch of, uh, there's a the neon deco art. We have a bunch of colors from uh, Handy Art. That's a Walmart product. I'm not going to go through every color because we've made some of these on our own. Um, we do have a yellow, an orange, a red. We've created a, a lighter purple and violet, a blue. The light blue you see here is called Bahama Blue. That's an Americana Deco Art color as well. We have a green. We have a phthalo green that I have made with, uh, with regular Liquitex tubes. There's phthalo green. If you've been following along with me, you'll know phthalo green is sort of my nemesis. Um, it never does quite what I want it to do, but I like it enough that I keep trying. Uh, so, we're also doing something unique today. We are using coconut milk serum instead of silicone. And we have that in every color except the black down here. We're going to drag the black through. Um, we've taken the coconut milk serum and we took an eyedropper and we literally, there's one drop in each of these cups. Uh, with the exception of the pink and yellow here, we have two drops in those cups. I have mixed it in, uh, a little bit heavier mixing with some than others. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to work from the pink starting here, and we're going to work our way down to the bottom where I will end with black, and the black I'm then going to drag through the other colors and see how that works out. The colors are a mix of two parts flow trawl one part paint and one part distilled water. And again, if you've never seen me before, you'll know that I mix these using a scale. So they're pretty precise. I mix the flow trawl and the paint together first and then I add the water. Um, painting with beer. The beer only goes in me. There is no beer in any of the paints. So um, it's something I've never tried. I guess we could try that on one of these videos. Um, we could try to put a little bit of beer in the paint. So, I'm really not sure how this is going to go, uh, but I do have a time lapse running, so you'll get to see it step by step through the whole thing. I'm estimating here, we have a 12 by 16 canvas. I'm sort of estimating the amount of paint. The smaller cups have uh, about an ounce total. Uh, if I come up short, I will pause the video and jump in and um, I'll mix up some more paint. So off to the races. I'm going to start with the pink and work backwards. I'm going to use probably the stick here to try to get the paint to go over the edges, especially with this first pour. Again, I mention this in every video too. Um, I have about a 20 minute time limit on my camera must be a Nikon thing. Uh, if I get tight on that, uh, all I have to do is climb up and reset. So I'll be watching the timer that I have off to my right, your left. And if we get close, I'll, uh, I'll reset. So I'm going to try to save a little bit of pink because pink has the most edges other than black to deal with. Um, but I think we're off to a good start. That's, a, that's actually more coverage than I thought we would get with the pink. So there's your pink. 
pink and yellow have the most of the coconut milk serum in them. So I'm really curious to see how that works out. It's a hair product. Um, I will put it down below in my YouTube page. So if you're interested in buying it, you'll be able to do that. I put links in here to my Amazon Associates page so that if you want to find some of this stuff, you can find the exact product that I use. Um, in the name of full disclosure, we do make a couple pennies <laughs> every time you buy something in the Amazon Associates program. So if you can buy through us, if you find a better price, take the better price. So we got a lot of colors going here. I like the bright colors at the end, so I'm going a little bit thicker with them as far as how much I cover. I think as I get down to some of these other colors, uh, I may get a little bit more conservative, but we'll see. It's a bit of a guess and a bit of a gamble to how many colors do you need and how far do you have to go down to cover the whole canvas. Okay, we're through the orange and into the red. And I would say so far so good. Got a little bit of a spill of the orange. You'll see that doesn't matter. Seemed like a good day to do bright colors because it's raining outside. I'm going to try to get these to go over the edge pretty consistently so um, so the edges stay covered. At the end I'll come back with one of my stir sticks and try to clean that up. Okay, onward we go. We have put push pins in the back of this one to elevate it off the work surface and we have uh, got the level out and made sure that the work surface and the canvas itself was level. Sometimes the canvases are a little wonky um, so you're better off to put the level on the actual canvas itself. Okay. I'm stirring these as we go. We're into the second shade of purple. Purple can come out really, really cool. It's a color that, um, like phthalo green, it can bite you if you're not careful. It can dominate if you're not careful. Um, but it's a really cool color that can work really well. And I know of people that will use it almost exclusively. Um, if you're looking down in here, we've got some really cool interaction going on between the, the pink and the yellow that I'm enjoying. Um, I'm also enjoying my Bell's Two-Hearted Ale. If you like beer, comment in on our video. Let me know what you're drinking. Um, it's a Saturday night when I'm filming this. And as I mentioned before, it's happy hour. So it seems like a good night to have a beer and spill some paint. As I always say, I enjoy wasting paint. I just don't enjoy buying paint. So I do try to be efficient. Um, you'll see as we get down to the bottom here, I've got three colors to go. Uh, so far, I'm liking my estimation on how much paint. Uh, we'll see. If I think it's crazy out of control, I'll ease up on the last couple colors, especially my nemesis, phthalo green. If it gets quiet, it's because I'm calculating in my head whether I made too much or too little paint or just right. That or I'm having a sip of beer. Okay, two colors to go and then the black. Boom, boy the green just punches right through everything. Well, hopefully it does in the end. So the idea here really is to end with black and then drag the black through the other colors in the hope that the black will at first dominate the other colors and then it will sink 
down through them. Um, that's the hope. I've done a few of these drags. They can be a lot of fun. So be sure to try one out for yourself. Okay, Thalo Green, don't let me down. This is Thalo Green. And no matter how much water I add to this, Thalo always ends up pouring thick. And that can be a good thing on some paintings and it can be a bad thing on some paintings. So we've ended up pretty close to where I wanted to be from a paint usage and canvas uh, real estate. Um, I've left myself a bigger buffer. I made a little bit more black than anything else. Don't worry about that drip. When you see how we drag this, that drip is the least of your worries. So I'm going to pour the black heavy. I want it to go over this bottom edge again, like the pink. I don't, uh, I don't want to leave any white canvas showing. And I want a lot of it. After we're all said and done, when we're time lapse only, I will probably come back and patch up that edge of the canvas just to make sure we're covered totally in black. So there's our black and I want quite a pool of black because I'm going to drag it. I want it to go all the way up. And so we are at 12 minutes. Not bad. I'm going to add a little extra dose of black here. Take a sip of beer and do the drag. If you've never done a drag, we're doing it with, it's kind of hard to see here because I can't hold it vertically or horizontally. Um, we have a wet paper towel, actually a set of paper towels. I have it about the width of the canvas. Make sure you have enough because you don't want to come up short. Um, before we go, get one last good look. We've got some interesting cells going on in here and here. So here comes our drag. I see just a little bit of string hanging off here, so I'm going to clear that up. Okay, we're going to start in the black. I'm going to lower it into the black. And then I'm going to drag it all the way off the canvas. Ready? Here we go. I'm liking it already, folks. I'm going to get a lighter touch as I go to the end. I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> These results in seconds, I mean literally seconds, these results are mind-boggling good cells. Uh, I'm not sure what quite to attribute that to yet. I have not even put the torch to it. Um, we'll also see if they stay. I'm not really sure if these will hang in there for the whole duration. You'll get to see that on the time lapse. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of torch and see if that wakes it up too much. I'll leave it alone. This corner looks like it missed the drag a little bit, so I'm going to hit that. And then down here in the transition zone, I'm going to see if I can wake up some cells. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to fuss around with it a little bit here, uh, but I'll leave that for the time lapse. I'm really pleased. This is my 11 color drag with beer. Um, if you like the painting with beer idea, let me know. I'll probably do that a little bit more often because most of my videos are shot on the weekend. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. Um, we also sell these paintings on Etsy, 
and on eBay. And we are Art by the Lake on both of those. If you have any questions or comments or, or things you'd like to, to ask me or send me or suggestions for names for this painting, you can reach me at artbythelake at gmail.com. Um, all of this information is in the notes below. Um, so follow us. If you're really interested in this painting, you can email me. This painting will take uh, a little while to dry. And then once it's dry, I may resin coat it. I'm not really sure. Um, so it takes a couple weeks to go from what you see here to actually being able to buy this painting out on Etsy or eBay. But uh, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you're uh, raising a glass of beer somewhere on your own and enjoying this. We are Art by the Lake. This is Painting with Beer, and thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for the time-lapse video.